Material Science and Technology Division at Oak Ridge National Laboratory. It's one of the largest and oldest research divisions at ORNL. Uh, MSTD performs research on everything from batteries to corrosion to nuclear fission and fusion devices and includes basic research and applied research all together. Materials research is important in many aspects of life because you want to know how materials will perform, their reliability, their liability, and how we can improve materials to do things more efficiently, better, faster, cheaper. We are working on developing newer and higher temperature capable alloys and also more higher efficiency engines which scales with higher temperatures. Uh, and the, the limiting factor there typically is materials or alloys are not available. So we are looking into developing aluminum alloys that can go to higher temperatures. Now that we have very sophisticated characterization tools and we have the expertise here, we've uh, uh, with our industry partners combined all that to develop these alloys that are capable of going to 300 to 350 degrees Celsius uh, maximum temperature. We have some, some of the best electron microscopes in the world. Uh, you can do atomic scale imaging, you can do atomic scale uh, chemical analysis, you can do atomic scale computation, and you can combine all three of those to help develop the next generation of engines. And I think that's a very unique aspect of the work that we do, do over here. Here at Oak Ridge National Lab, I have been working on multiple projects, starting with nickel-based super alloys that are used for advanced ultra supercritical applications in power plants, up to nuclear applications where we're trying to develop material that will replace zerg alloy for fuel cladding. I have been using transmission electron microscopes to characterize the material for example, to evaluate the presence of reactive elements in the oxide scale that form in different environments. Uh, also, the new capability that we have is to use in situ microscopy. We can either use liquid cell or gas cell and simulate environment using regular TM without any adjustment. The focus of my research here at Oak Ridge National Labs is the development and understanding of energy storage and conversion technology, particularly batteries and catalysts for fuel cells or fuel conversion. So my job is to try to make batteries better and control the reactions between the interface. And to do this, I work on the synthesis of new materials as well as synthesizing model materials, which we can use for fundamental studies to understand interfacial reactions. So here at ORNL, a large suite of experimental synthetic capabilities such as magnetron sputtering and solution in argon based glove boxes for synthesizing preparing materials. More importantly I have a lot of collaborators and experts here in fields of neutrons and electron microscopy who I can work with by making samples and working with them to analyze those materials under very specific tools. I am the technical lead for polymer materials research at the manufacturing demonstration facility and this facility is quite unique. We, we look at uh, additive manufacturing techniques and so we focus on modifying polymer systems and, and polymer materials to make them printable and actually use those uh, materials in real life, in industrial applications. So at the manufacturing demonstration facility, we have uh, 3D printers, small-scale 3D printers, large-scale 3D printers. We can print various metals, uh, we can print uh, various polymers and hybrids uh, and ceramics uh, as well. We wanted systems and, and materials that would be useful in the industry, making real parts real objects. Um, so the, the process is very simple. It's very simple. It doesn't get simpler than that. And that's the beauty of it. But there are many details you need to take care of uh, so that you don't just put material on the table and create a blob. You, <laughs> you, you need to understand details uh, about the rheology of the polymer you are printing, about the temperature profiles, that you generate during printing about the microstructure of, of, of the polymers. 
The materials theory group covers everything from structural materials, functional materials. We do, you know, alloys, defects in materials. We do materials for radi under radiation damage. We do uh, correlated materials such as superconductors, materials for energy generation like thermoelectrics. So it's really a broad scope of materials that we study. We also work closely with the experimentalists to understand the phenomena that they are measuring, often at a larger length scale than the, where the phenomena begins at. If we can understand the origins of it better, we can better control it, we can better design new materials. By using and exploring some of these modern materials, tools, and techniques, we remain at the front and there are always new problems to solve. And materials is important in everything we do in every part of society, so there's always new challenges for performance, degradation, and new opportunities.